for Japan tainted water and mistrust. Fukushima Oyom Su Pangyadan New York Times Kisa Devon Chepubunimida. Involving local residents, civil society group, technical experts, and when necessary, neighboring nations in decision making can, can lead to notable success. In choosing the site of a long term repository for low level radioactive waste, Belgium regulators in 1998 gave decision making power to a broad uh, cross section of public and private stakeholders. In the end, two neighboring countries actually compete to be the site, and in 2006, a proposal by the municipality of Dessel was uh, approved. After years of study and uh, environmental approval, a final permit was issued this year. Similar process have been followed in Finland and Sweden. Fukushima's water was a golden opportunity for Japan to not only match those success, but to set a new global model for addressing the difficulty of nuclear waste disposal with transparency and inclusion. Instead, the decision was essentially made by the government, announced, and then vigorously depended. All of this might have been fine, except that TEPCO and the Japanese government suffer from a severe trust deficit on Fukushima. During the 2011 disaster, they are repeatedly minimized the risk. We held crucial information on threat to public safety and even resisted using the term core meltdown, even though that is what occurred. Separate investigation by an official Japanese commission, the IAEA and other entities put much of the blame on poor regulatory oversight and the lack of a preparedness despite Japan's history of earthquake and tsunami. Yet the mistrust remains. TEPCO said for years that its uh, purification system would reduce 62 radio, radio uh, the nuclear deaths to safe or non-detectable levels, and that only trace of tritium a radioactive form of hydrogen and two other isotopes would remain, but it emerged in 2018 that 70% of the tanks also contained levels of other radioactive substances that were higher than legal limits. After the ocean release decision was made, an IAEA advisory task force identified a number of problems with the plan, most of which were reportedly resolved later or deemed insufficient to force the reconsideration. Countries like uh, South Korea, China, and some Pacific Island nations have been particularly critical, with the Seoul complaining of a lack of consultation by Tokyo. Following recent Japanese diplomatic efforts, South Korea and uh, the Micronesian have lifted their opposition. China, however, has redoubled this criticism, accusing Japan of treating the ocean like a private soul. The Pacific Island Forum, which represents 18 nations, some of which are acutely aware of the legacy of American nuclear testing, remains at the post. At this stage, it looks unlikely that Japan will change course. The country's bureaucratic and corporate culture is notoriously complex, and slow-moving and major decisions like this are nearly impossible to reverse. But it's not too late to improve on public trust. Japan has invited the IAEA to help monitor the release, and this is welcome. But many Japanese accustomed to obfuscation and the lack of transparency on Fukushima simply no longer trust official assurance. Only a truly independent, international, and participatory monitoring regime 
with the close involvement of those most likely to be affected will be sufficient to make sure that the release of the water is being done safely and responsibly. With that, a bad precedent could be transformed into a globally admired one.